Hello, welcome. I am Katie. I do crafty things. Please like, subscribe, watch the video through. Helps a ton. Thank you. And I think that's it. So I'm going to start with kind of the basic on the nose stuff, which is purse handles. Pretty obvious what they're for. Um, I got a bunch of these on clearance for about a dollar a set. These are hard acrylic with metal pieces. I got them at Joann's when this particular store was not going to be carrying purse crafting anymore. But I think regular price, these run ooh, several years ago, five to fifteen dollars. So they're kind of expensive. I wouldn't have bought them except they were already on clearance. This one. This one's very light. I think it's aluminum. And then I actually have two purse handles. This one, I believe, came from when you buy a purse. You know how they come with like a second handle? Usually a short one and a shoulder strap. That's what this is from. Just a nice long chain with these that are very easy to hook on. And another one I have is this one. I had some old crafting supplies handed down to me. The bag was trashed. It was like a tapestry old and yucky not really any way to save it but it had these really cool wooden handles so i cut the fabric off and kept the handles so i'll probably do some like big carpet bag type thing maybe with some tapestry crochet so purse handles are a really good thing for if you make bags any kind of just secondhand purses even if the fabric is trashed you can usually save most of the stuff on them so like handles and buttons and snaps or chains or any of that kind of stuff. These are also something that I've saved from old bags, which is these little boogers, which don't seem like much, but if you're making drawstring bags, these can be really nice to have. And I want to say, I mean, you can buy them. I think it's like $2 for a pack of two. I don't remember when I saved them, but I have five or six of those. Now these are something that I've also saved off of a purse that I took apart. Just some rings. I believe they were hooked to the bag and then the strap was hooked to them. Okay, so now for a few things that I think are made for crafting purses, but could be used for other things as well. And some of this stuff I got at Martin's, which is like my local salvage surplus, sur salvage and surplus store. Um, I can usually find good deals on crafting things, just things that didn't sell well at the craft stores. So I get a lot of this stuff real cheap. These are little swivel pieces. Good for if you want to make your own purse strap or something like that. And then we also have these kind of things. Just little metal pieces. And then we have a little bit fancier. We've got some buckle pieces. Now this one has the little, the little lock pin piece. And again, I think these are for purse handles or straps, but you could also use them if you wanted to make a belt or I've seen them used on like cuffs. So I have, I picked up two different sizes of those. I just got these the other day. And this is the one without the pin. I also have some little bra uh, brass, brass D-rings, and I also have one of these, which is a swivel lock, which I really like. It's got the little, little tines that you just put through your fabric. Now, most of these are intended for sewing, but the advantage that you have using them for knit or crochet things over that is that you don't have to usually cut holes in it. You can just put these little tines right through the fabric and hook them in. Now this one's bigger around. You can see the size in there. So you might have to account for that when you're doing your project. But you can also get, I thought I had some, um, the little magnetic circle buttons that are very easy to put in. You don't usually have to cut anything for that. You can just stick them right in your project after it's done. Those are the same exact ones that you get in purses that you buy. Like if you go and look in your bags or backpacks or purses or something, you'll probably see one. And they're very useful. I think I've used all mine up. Okay. And I also have a few of these types of snap 
buttons with plastic edges. And again, they've got holes made to sew them on, but you can just crochet that right onto your project. I've never actually used these ones. I haven't actually used these ones yet, but they are plastic edging, so I think they're made for baby stuff. Finally getting out of the purse crafting stuff. Another thing that I really like the looks of, I think takes it from homemade to handmade are labels. So I have these little fake leather ones. It says handmade limited edition. You can see they're just like suede fabric. I bought these online. You can get a ton of different designs. And I really like these for like on the edges of hats or on the cuffs of mitts or something like that sweaters whatever you're making i really like these especially if you're selling them so i have those fabric ones and then i also have these wooden ones they're a lot smaller about an inch long they just stay handmade also bought them online to me these just add that little bit of professionalism to them i also got these decorative tags I bought these forever ago. It was two dollars because they were damaged. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They were put in damage because one was missing, but it wasn't actually missing. It had just slid underneath another one. So these are pretty cool. Okay, yeah, you can read them. And these I would save if I'm doing a gift or something special for somebody, and they are metal. Or you could make like, bend them down and make bracelets out of them. That would be pretty. Okay, the next thing, you guys probably have seen these before for yarn. You use them a lot for stuffed animals, but it's just these little plastic safety eyes that you put on. Super easy to put in. I've got the small ones and the big ones. If you are making stuffed animals and just stitching the eyes on, I would really recommend these. I like them. They add just that little bit extra to it. And they're only a couple bucks. This next thing. I always forget to actually put them in my projects, but they're one of my favorites. I love them. And that is studs. So I have a whole bunch of different ones here. And they are just little metal caps with feet. Let me show you one. It's just a little metal piece with little feet. So these would be very easy to put through any kind of project with yarn. And then you can just close them up. And to me, these are a lot of fun. But we've got some flat traditional square studs. I have silver of the same. I also have brass. And then these ones I bought at Hobby Lobby. So we've got these little circle ones, just flat head. And then I have a little bit fancier. We've got some gold and silver ones. And these ones have little rhinestones in them. And I like these because you can add them to absolutely anything that you're making and they'll fit right around the yarn very easy you just push them in and close the feet and they're on you can use them on hats on toys on sweaters or mittens cuffs whatever absolutely anything i love these i need to start using them i had these in there so i thought i would show them i've got four of them because they're for a specific project i want to make a waistcoat at some point and they had these at Hobby Lobby. And they're just like a faux leather thing here with a buckle on it. And I thought these would be really cute just to put like, if I do an asymmetric, I can put them down the front. They're just really pretty. And I had them, so I wanted to show you. Okay, and last thing we have are eyelets. These are the same exact kind of eyelets that you put, that you have in your shoes essentially they're just a little thing to make a hole and again very easy to do if you're doing it with fabric you have to cut the hole and dig with the fraying but with yarn they'll fit right in and these can kind of look intimidating if you go into the section to find them because there's a lot of different pieces and a lot of different tools but these are nice because you just you buy the one thing with the eyelets and it comes with the tool and i will show you how to do those it's very simple. The only thing is just to make sure that the yarn gets caught in it. And these are really good for anything that you make that you want to lace up. So again, I know I'm making like sweaters in my mind right now, 
but if you want to have anything like if you're making a corset or something you can put them in and lace it up or you could do a lace-up pattern in your mitt or just use them as decoration because they're pretty and put patterns in okay so i had these things mixed in so i thought i would show you i got these they were a bridal button set collection and then i have some bigger rings for different projects you could also use these like I've seen the purses where you crochet on here and make round bags and this would be the purse handle just like the other ones but these are a little bit bigger and then of course I have some beads these are just little glass pearls that I was using for something but beading is also something that I really like I haven't done it a lot I need to practice on it but hopefully you found something that might inspire you a little bit I just wanted to show you kind of the stuff that's out there and available because a lot of this stuff is really cool and I love using it. It just, if you don't know it's out there, you're not gonna use it, you know what I mean? And to me, this is the stuff that really takes your projects from like homemade to handmade. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and happy crafting.